Hi, my name is Wei Feinstein. I'm from the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, managing HPC clusters and providing HPC services to the lab. In this site report, I will provide an overview of the research computer infrastructure and services at the Berkeley lab. Then I will get into more technical details of our SLURM configurations. In particular, I will share the interplay of the raster-based SLURM banking plugins with our new user web portal. Acknowledgement. First, Nicholas Chen. When he was a student at UC Berkeley, he wrote the user plugins for us. He was an excellent programmer. Shopping down. He was my former colleague who shared lots of great ideas with me. I enjoy many of those intellectual conversations with him. Skin MD support team for, for their timely and professional support when we had problems, questions, when the clusters were down. It is their support to get us through those difficult times. I want to say thank you. Is that I'll start with a few highlights of the lab. Located in the Berkeley Hills above the University of California Berkeley campus, the lab was founded by Ernest Lawrence. He was the Nobel Prize winning physicist. He invented the cyclotron and also he discovered the element called Lorentzian, one of the 16 elements discovered at the Berkeley lab. There are also nine Berkeley scientists who have been awarded the Nobel Prize. It's quite impressive. The lab also operates a number of major national user facilities, which is good, advanced light source, Joint Genome Institute, Molecular Boundary, and ESNet. There's a wide range of disciplines and a diversity of research needing computational resources at the lab, whether it is climate modeling, research into new advanced materials at the nanoscale, or simulation of the early universe, machine learning to autofocus for X-ray crystallography analysis of astrophysics sky service, or carbon and geo sequestration, and a number of host other endeavors. The diversity of a Berkeley Lab's research portfolio demands flexible and diverse computational environment. Our goal is to reduce computational barriers in the lab's breakthrough research. We take the approach that is science-centric and comprehensive. More specifically, we provide traditional HPC services we also provide cloud computing service. GCP and AWS have major contracts with us. We've had steady uptake of usage for the cloud computing in the past three years. We also provide data management services. This include Globus, the data transfer and the sharing among collaborators. We have SPSS, Science Project Storage Service, which uses various high-performance file storage platforms to support data workflows for the researchers at the lab. In this side report, I will focus on the HPC service we provide to the Berkeley lab. The HPC system at the lab include a shared Lorentzian supercluster and over 10 divisional clusters. All these clusters are hosted in a supercluster infrastructure that is consist of, consisting of a dedicated firewall subnet, one-time password authentication, multiple interactive login nodes. All the compute nodes are interconnected with EDR, FDR, InfiniBand. They all have a shared third-party compilers, libraries, applications, and software packages. Other compute nodes share, have shared an FS home directory and fast master parallel file systems. The supercluster infrastructure is used 
by all the clusters within the data center to facilitate the movement of researchers across different projects and the sharing of compute resources. Oh, but from this plot, you can see that over the past five years, the HPC cluster usage at the Berkeley lab has been increasingly increasing steadily from 5 million CPU hours to almost 30 million CPU hours. And the red plot, the insert plot in red color uh, is the GPU usage, given the relatively small number of the GPU compared to CPU. Note in our super cluster, uh, the scale is smaller, but however, the increase is steadily uh, going up as well. Parallel to managing Lorenzium at the Berkeley lab, we also manage the HPC service for the UC Berkeley Research Computing Program. We manage Zapio, which is the general purpose cluster, and SRDC, which is the secure computing platform for sensitive data analysis and computation. UC Berkeley provides the largest number of PhDs in the country. The HPC services we provide has played a cent its central role, critical role, in improved grant competitiveness and faculty recruitment and retention. The Laurentian Supercluster is a institutional condo cluster. The lab has made a significant investment over the past years in developing the Lorenzian supercluster. PIs can purchase compute nodes from their grants, and those nodes are added to the entire compute pools. This allows researcher-owned condos to fully take advantage of low latency, infinite band, and high-performance parallel file system that is provided by the lab and operated by us. The operating costs for managing and housing their nodes are waived in exchange for letting other users on the cluster make use of any idle compute cycles and research on nodes. So this is a win-win situation. It's good for the condo users as well as for the general cluster users. Of course, the common users have a higher priority to submit their jobs and to the partition that they, they buy in hardware. They also have access uh, to other type of nodes if their research needs. I will get into the detail in a later slide. Lorenzium has a number of learned partitions based on the generation of CPUs the type of nodes, and the memory size. We use a term quality of service queue as extensively to ensure proper usage of the computational resources. Condo QoS, which can be customized based on PS preference. Uh, of course, it has a high priority uh, when users submit the jobs than the users using normal QoS. And their wall time can be much longer than the regular 72 hours. And the number of max nodes per user per job can also be customized based on the PS preference. We also have a QoS for general, for general users, uh, which include normal, debug, and the low priority, which are standard for slur. The QoS access uh, across the board in the Lorenzium supercluster for condo account users, in addition to the partition they buy in, they also have access with low priority to all the other partitions in the Lorenz in the supercluster. In general, we highly encourage the usage of low priority. Um, we do not charge any usage with low priority uh, just to utilize the free cycles. For the free allocation account users, the users have normal QoS access to all the partitions. 
of course, they have limited SU um, consumption, which is capped at 300k SUs per year. For ready charger count users, they have a normal and low priority to all the partitions. When they use normal QoS, their jobs will be charged, but the low priority is free. In addition to traditional command line access to the HPC clusters, aligned with our goal of reducing computing barriers, we also provide open on demand to the research community. Open on Demand is a web portal platform that provides convenient access to, to Lorenzen clusters and file systems with a minimal knowledge of Linux and Slurm commands. It interfaces with Slurm for job submissions in the back end. Users can launch various GUI applications within Open on Demand platform. This includes the desktop, Jupyter Notebook, RStudio, MATLAB, and some other GUI applications. And the users really enjoy using this platform. In the next few slides, I will talk about the Slurm banking plugins. Currently, we're in the deployment stage of launching a new web portal called MyLRC. This portal is to manage Lorenzen access for the lab PIs, researchers, system administrators, as well as external researchers. The user portal is code from based. Um, it is an open source resource allocation management platform designed by Buffalo, Buffalo University. Since we adopted the platform, we have put a great effort to extend and extensive development to meet our own usage requirements. Uh, this also includes several Slurm banking plugins that I'm going to talk about. Here you can see a few screenshots of the user portal. The portal use CN logon for user authentication, and the portal use Postgres SQL database to capture user requests for accounts, project accounts, allocation, etc. It interfaces with the Slurm to, to automate HPC resource and the job management. The library search searches can submit the request for new accounts, project accounts, PIs can manage a group, um, access by adding and removing users from projects. And the users can check their SU balance and the job status, et cetera, et cetera. And it's really a good interface for system admins to manage different tasks directly on the portal instead of through the traditional way um, on HPC clusters. The Slurm banking plugins provide allocation management to the Slurm. Uh, the plugins interact with the REST API, API which is provided by my LRC portal. We have written three Slurm banking plugins. The first one is Job Submit plugin. And this is used when users use AdBatch and S1. And it's, it is being called uh, used to be for the job in the queues. It checks submission parameters, estimate maximum job cost at the job submission, and it rejects jobs if the API reports that user accounts has insufficient SUs to cover the job. If ever the user portal gets offline, by design, the plugin will default back to allow all the jobs go through, preventing holding up the jobs. So when the portal get back online, the portal database and the Slurm database will be synced up uh, in a later time. The second banking plugin is called Spank Plug, and this is uh, called the runtime. Basically, it is used to create job objects so that the job information can be displayed on the portal. 
users can see their job status, what is in the queue, what is running, what is completed. All the detailed information about which nodes they used, um, how long the job has been running. Um, so this plugin, well, is used when job is running, it estimates the cost and it reports back to the user portal API at the runtime in order to provide updated as information to allow or reject the future job submissions. The third plugin is called the Job Completion Plugin. And it is used uh, when job times out or the job is completed. It calculates and it reports the actual, the accurate SU usage to update the portal database. Again, in case of the job crashes, the account job will sync the job uh, status between the Slurm database and the portal database. The portal plugin, banking plugin, are written in Rust. Um, as we know, Slurm is written in C. There are a couple of reasons why we choose Rust uh, for these Slurm plugins. The Rust interfaces with C and the C API. It is really good at allocating memories and freeing up memories. Uh, so you don't have to worry about memory leakage. And also it uses secure HTTP to interface with the user portal APIs um, instead of using sockets in C. This, all these three uh, Slurm banking plugins need to be compiled with the Slurm source code. When they are compiled, the shared objects will expose C APIs for the Slurm to use. Therefore, we, um, we need to make sure to use the right version of Slurm, uh, which is in production for the plugin compilation. One of the caveats is there is a potential that the plugin code some revision when we do the Slurm upgrades. Um, from time to time, new version of Slurm is likely to change its construct and memory layout. Um, so when we do the future Slurm upgrades, the plugin code may need some revision. This is one of the caveats. All right, in order to make those, uh, these three banking plugins work with the Slurm and also with my uh, the user portal, uh, we need a proper configuration. Two files need to be updated. One is the Slurm configuration file, slurm.com, and the other one is the, the spec configuration file, which is the plugstack.com. In the Slurm configuration file, slurp.com file, there are two lines are needed to be, to be enabled. One is the job submitted plugins, and the other one is a job comp type. And we make sure those two lines are enabled. Um, for the plugstack.com, uh, we need to give the name and the location of the, of the Spank plugin library. Um, uh, the name and also the location uh, to be specified in this file. This is required. We also have another file which is uh, uh, under um, the same directory as the slurm.conf is called the bank config pomo file. And our slurm plugin codes will use this file um, at one time to make sure whether those plugins are enabled or disabled. And also the partition information um, for the cluster and the pricings are, all have to be included in this file. And all this information is needed uh, to do the cost estimation and the calculation to update the, the portal database in order to um, have estimation of SU, balance as well as the job status. Also in this bank 
config TOMO file, um, we need to include the portal API URL and token. The reason is only authorized the clients can hit the user portal API to invoke changes to the job status, account as used to the user portal. And those informations are coded in this file and are used, constantly used by the, the slot banking plugins. Besides those three plugins used by the uh, user portal, we also have a few slot Slurm plugins not related to portal. Uh, one is the CPU GPU ratio plugin to ensure the proper amount of CPU cores are allocated with each GPU card request at job submission time. Uh, the other one is the Spank Private Tam Shen plugin, uh, which is to create a temporary location for for job submission. The third one is Spank collect a script, which is used to collect a job submission information script. Um, and it will be sorted by day, by, by day, week, and a month for easy um, investigation in the future by system admins. And this is my last slide for some resources. Um, that if you, you're interested, um, the port of Slurm plugins resource code, source code is on the GitHub and our uh, HPC website. If you need more information, documentation, and how to use Orientium, you can find more information at this website and our contact information. With that, I want to thank you for your attention. And this is my side report. Thank you.